Welcome back to the East Circuit, the only way to turn up your weekend. I'm Mike Itza. You can find me at Mika underscore Kenya on every social media platform. Uh, before we get into the next interview, just a reminder, lengaogaidi.co.ke is where you can get all the information uh, on how to participate on this year's season three version. And uh, in the morning, we were having an interesting discussion and we were asking a question of the day. Uh, do you think campus relationships work? So let me sample just a few of your answers before we get into the second uh, <laughs> interview. Joseph Sanya, Asama, Niweke Wimbo ya Jay Siki. Jay Siki, do you know Jay Siki? Uh, Shahidi Wangui, to answer your campus question. Apparently, that's uh, where we'll find our answer. Okay, we'll do our research. We'll try to do that. Uh, but again, the same guy, Joseph Sanya, and I said, please, let's be real. Uh, campus relationships are mirrors of true and false relationships ahead. Uh, others end up in marriage, let's say 30%, others 70% are preparation of becoming parents. Mm, what do you have to say to that? Uh, I have no idea what to say to that. Simeon Ogeto, Anasema, to me I can say it doesn't work because ladies are after money nowadays. Uh, guests will answer that question if that's true or not. Uh, please uh, play Unakata by Sudi Boy. We'll do that in just a few minutes. Uh, George Wabeth, uh, could you please post the video of that cool guy who's co so composed uh, as the rest get robbed? We will do that. We'll send the URL on our Facebook page. That's uh, Y254 channel and the E-Circuit. Leech Mas, Anasama. Kamakawa, Kamadawa, Niko present from Kisumu. Thank you for watching. Uh, all the way from Kisumu, we really appreciate the feedback. We really appreciate, you know, the support. This name, I'm not really making it up. I'm not making it up. This is what's his name on Facebook. Fisi Mtakatifu. Okay. Asama, show Ikawa Gwan Sana. Thank you for watching the East Circuit. Muiru Allen, Asama, campus relationships are, are all sweet, free, and open and soon drowns uh, when one leaves for attachments and internships. That's kind of true. Yeah, obligations finally sink in and you're like, eh, it wasn't really what I thought. KSK, and I say, yes, they do. And in addition to that, uh, uh, to the diploma and degree certificates, we also get birth certificates. Huh, okay. You see what uh, he did there? Yeah. Uh, you, you get another certificate to your certificate. I get what you're saying. Uh, OG Mpenda Wengi. Eh, uwe OG na Mpenda Wengi. Uh, so it matters the guy you are dating. Most of them are after money. Uh, maybe you're referring to the girl child again. Uh, play for me, Majabu by Mboso. Uh, the last one, Clemore, Campus in Ile Moto, Gold Hupitia. Uh, Kabla Kwe Gold, ha 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 ha. <laughs> So it's preparing you for future. OK. OK. So our next interview, uh, I have the pleasure of interviewing Mary Mukami. And uh, let me call you Bashir so that they know where you're from. Sauda Bashir, uh, they are the organizers of the event Rare Beauty, which will happen on the 23rd of 2020. Yes? And uh, now let's talk about Rare Beauty. Uh, what's the event exactly? What is it about? that is set to change the mindset of people of how they view persons with disability, persons with vitiligo, um, persons with albinism, and persons with dwarfism. So every month we are doing a photo shoot and a video shoot of this person so that we can build confidence, we can help them be able to face the world without feeling enclosed. And um, we've noticed why we came up with this is because we when we go to events we don't see um, these particular people in events mm. let's say because there are no equipment that will help them facilitate or people will look at them in a weird way so we want to create events that are specific for them mm. so this Just is for why them. yes that, this is why we are doing this uh, event which is a, sh a runway show and we'll have um, these people doing the runway this person with disability, mm. persons with vitiligism, they're the people who are going to be on the runway, not the normal, like tall and skinny. We have only these people doing the runway, yes. Uh, uh, let me ask you, Suda, when you heard about this uh, fashion show just for uh, people who are abled differently, what were your thoughts, your first thoughts? Uh, it's something that I've always been interested in. Yeah. And um, I've always, like, every time I see 
like a catwalk or a fashion thing, I always ask myself, like, why is it always the same people mm. that have a specific maybe body type or color or whatever it is? Does that mean I, a Sauda, I'm not, I, I cannot do such a thing? Mm. So when I heard about it, I was really excited when Mary approached yeah, Mary, me yeah. and I was like, yeah, we need to do this. Like, mm. we need to make it happen. Yeah. Nice. And so far... Uh, I see a friendship has come out of it because you guys met at an event. Yes. So how did this uh, pop up? Uh, who came up? Who was the first one to come up with this idea? Okay. Um, I, myself. Yeah. I just uh, when I went to the event. What was the inspiration? Since um, I think for me, I just had the the feel of everyone should be included because when I, we met at that event mm. it was specifically for persons with disability and uh, when they posed all the challenges that they faced something sparked in me light bulb yeah like, like oh my <laughs> god this is actually something that should be out there so i approached sauda and that's when we just started um thinking about it how can we maneuver how can we come up with this concept what can we do how can we impact the community with such a show a runway show yes nice mm -hmm. now between now mm -hmm. and uh, april 23rd mm -hmm. is it actually from 20th yes to 23rd yes april 20th to 23rd mm -hmm. of 2020 yeah uh other than the you know the photo shoots that you'll be doing every month mm -hmm. uh, wh what else are you doing to prepare for that show Sauda? well we wanted to have uh little events where we introduce the the um, the models and also see if we can create something that will not just be for that day you know like some can we have uh, other events that will will be coming once in a while that will be able to open up the doors for these people mm. yes nice mm -hmm. uh, you are at the event that's where you met yes uh, in the first place mm -hmm. even before we continue about uh, rare beauty mm -hmm. um, what was the motivation to go to that event um, I think for me, um, it was a UN event, so they always send us invites depending on what they have on board. Mm. So for me, since I am an event planner, mm. it is sort of my obligation to go to events, mm. meet different people, and mm. this is where I get my inspiration. When I go to an event, I meet people, I talk to people, I get um, an event idea, and my work is to create events that actually create change and mm. impact the community. Mm. So basically, that's how I came up with this. And that's how you met Sauda. Yes. What about you Sauda? Uh, I was invited uh, the same thing and the UN guys had called another company that had worked in uh, LVCT Health and they had asked if they know someone with disability who will be able to, to come for the event and mm. uh, actually speak because I was one of the speakers and they're like yeah uh, we know someone so ended up being invited and they mentioned that I was at this, um, I was the model at the Safaricom. I think you've seen one of the billboards. Yes, I have. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> they're like, yeah, you, we need her there. So that's mm. how I ended up um, being at the event. Mm. And I think one thing that we clicked was the fact that I love fashion. And I feel like people with disability, like whenever people meet me, they're like, you're so different. Like, you're not like the rest. I'm mm. like, what do you mean? They're like, you dress up, you do makeup, you do all these things. So for me, with her coming up with the idea was so easy because it's something I actually love. Because mm. mm. even with the Safaricom adverts, I was, I'd approach Safaricom. I work for Safaricom and I approach them. I'm like, why don't we ever have a person with disability on any of the adverts? Mm. Because, I mean, it doesn't mean, like, we're always seeing the same thing, like I said. Like, why can't we have... Generic adverts. Yes, mm. just a kawaida advert. Like, it doesn't have... Because all we always see about disability is sadness and mm. we need help, we need this, we need this. Like, why can't it just be a general advert? Mm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, like I said earlier, we were having a discussion before the interview. Mm -hmm. My favorite part about rare beauty mm -hmm. is the self-confidence part. Mm -hmm. So how will you go about this exactly, other than the modeling part and All the right. photo shoots every month? All right. So one thing we are doing is um, we are measuring on videos. So these videos are sort of telling um, a story. So we have someone 
one of our models we take a video of what they like to do let's say th th we have one who plays basketball so we'll go to the pitch we take a video of her playing basketball then after that she tells a story of her about herself what she likes to do why she likes to do it what kind of challenges she's facing what she'd like different and mm. people to know about her then we'll have um towards the event we'll have a whole week of tara self-confidence um like sort of a team building event where we'll call different speakers to come and talk to them to come and uh, train them on how to better themselves how to dress better how to look better mm. how to you know be a better person so basically that's what we are doing yes nice mm -hmm. uh, with that regard soda uh, you said that people always viewed you differently yeah. what do you think that is what is it about you exactly? If you if you could, you know, talk about yourself for a minute. <laughs> Let me talk about. Oh God, that's like the hardest thing to do. Yes, it um, is. I think uh, the fact that I'm I'm easy with people, and um, for me, I always say, even when I see anyone, mm. like even my friends, I always tell them, if you look good, if you dress up it gives you a lot of confidence, mm. you know? So for me, I always make sure I dress up and it always gives me a lot of confidence. So at the end of it, like people are like, you don't dress this way, you, you take time to dress up. I'm like, just because I'm physically challenged does not mean like I shouldn't look good, mm. you know? And at the same time, you know, I also go out. So whenever people see me, they're like, Okay, you're mm. in a club. Like, what are you doing in a club, you know? So for me, I want to see more people uh, with disability or with albinism, like being free, being out there. Because mm. I feel like if we do this, when you see someone with disability, you're not going to stare at them. Mm. It will be something regular for you, mm. you know? But the fact that you'll never see anyone with disability or albinism or whatever in an event, mm. Even kids who have it, or parents who have kids with such um, uh, disabilities, don't know what to do. Mm. But if we do this, if they see Sauda, if they see someone else like uh, one of our models, they'll be like, oh, there are other people like me. Mm. And who are having fun and being open fun and, fun and doing, doing their thing. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are trying to bring out. Mm. Yes, to I start. I like that. I like yeah. that a lot. Uh, so far, in terms of, you know, people who are involved mm -hmm. in the event, upcoming event in April, mm -hmm. um, how many people so far? Uh, the models? Yeah. We have 10 and we are growing. Yeah. Since it's a, it's a sort of a movement, we want to get as many as possible to mm. actually model. Wh where do you meet them? Um, I think... <laughs> just in, in normal basis, yeah. you just meet someone and you strike a conversation and that's it. You mm. uh, basically, that's what I can say. I, I hope you're involving the boy child as well, Sauda. <laughs> Is it good to need makeup? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we were thinking about it mm. and we're like, um, we'd love to involve them in the next one. The next one? <laughs> yeah, we said let's <laughs> do the next one because we were really trying to to push it the first time. Mm. So we were like, we need to, it, that's why I was saying it shouldn't, we don't want it to be an event just for this year. Mm. Like it should be something that grows. An annual thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So Hopefully maybe even a monthly thing. Yeah. You, know. you yeah. never yeah. know. Eventually. Definitely. Yeah, you never yes. know. Mm. So with uh, some of the models, um, <coughs> some of them I knew mm. uh, from, okay, people with disability and some of them we, uh, uh, how do I say it? Um, like one of them who plays basketball, so I used to swim, so we got to know each other. Mm. So once you know one person, it's kind of easy to find the rest. Like, oh, is there someone? There's some I work with. So it's just working with who is also interested. Because we don't want to just... Try to force it on them. Yes, force it on, on, mm -hmm. on anyone. Plus, uh, for me as Sauda, I feel like... Um, even if I say I'm a model, I need to act the part. Mm. You get, because even the other models are doing the same thing. Mm. So I don't want someone who, uh, I'm going to give you a leeway just because you Just you're, because. Yes, you I need someone who is serious, work. exactly. Mm. Mm. So, yes. Uh, will that be part of it? 
Well, that, uh, you know, like a prejudging criteria before the judging actually happens on April 20th, 2020. Like, mm -hmm. will you see about the people who are serious and uh, try to only put in the people who are putting in work? Actually, uh, for the people who are, we are already involving, they mm. are already we already received that, so that we are only taking through the people who are very serious through the whole process. Mm. So that anyone else, you'll attend the event, then learn from that. Mm. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Now, April 20th mm -hmm. is when rare beauty will happen. Uh, how can someone prepare for that event? Someone who just wants to come and show up and be part of the audience and celebrate Mm -hmm. All that will happen on that day. All right. I'm sure Sauda will be there. Of course. So, <laughs> boy shall say, so on anticipate. Mm -hmm. See, can I say the truth? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, like, uh, it, it's, it's true what you're saying. Yeah. And um, that's when we were discussing it with Mary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're like, okay, let's do it this first time. And we have to involve the boy child. Because mm. I feel, to be honest, like, the girl child is... Everything's about the girl Everything child. is about the girl child. That's you know, how I feel. Yeah. Yeah. So we would definitely be involving the boy child. Mm. Now, now in terms of audience mm -hmm. participation, All right. um, where can someone get more information about this though? Okay, you can go to our social media pages yeah. at um, Rare Beauty Movement. Rare Beauty Movement. Yes, from Facebook to Instagram and Twitter. So every, every week we are posting information about the models, what we are doing, the movement, yeah. everything. So that's what we'll be doing. Then towards the event, you'll see more activities like how to purchase tickets, when the, where the event will be, how the event will take place, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 like, you know, mm -hmm. I know these events are not that easy to organize. Yes, so is it open? Uh, can anyone come and try to help out? Can they get the same information from that page on how to contact you guys? Yes, of course. We have mm. our our email addresses, our numbers there. Mm. So if one Rare wants Beauty to support... On Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Yes, yes. Rare Beauty Movement. Mm. So if anyone wants to support, they can always reach us. They can call us, uh, email us. We are very ready to have as much support as possible. Mm. Yes. I hope you let Y254 channel be part of this beautiful of thing. Of course, of course, of course. Definitely, yes. yes. Awesome. Yes. Now, uh, in terms of your personal lives, mm -hmm. uh, ever since going into this journey. I know it's not happened yet, mm -hmm. but you, you already feel it, don't you? <laughs> uh, tell me about the feelings that you're feeling right now in anticipation for this event. I'm really, really excited. And let me tell you, it's really, it's, it's one thing to have an idea, but it's a totally different thing when you meet someone who, who feels you and knows what to do. I've always wanted to do it, but then I'm not an events person. Mm. And then you meet someone like Mary, who's mm. going to maybe to actually make it come true. Then I, I honestly like I, I like I'm excited for it. Nice. Yeah, like <laughs> I really, because I want the world to see. Like yeah. I want to see when when I go for a fashion show, I don't want to just see. Maybe like what you're used to seeing. Yes, I want to see, see everyone, part, Yes, I want to see a person in a wheelchair. I want to see someone with albinism, someone in crutches. Like I want to see that because that's mm. the reality of life. Mm -hmm. I want to see an advert. I want to see, you know, like when you see an advert like Pampers, mm. you want to tell me there's no mother with disability who has a child mm. or a or father. A yes, a father changing. <laughs> you know, a yeah. kid with disability or whatever, you get. So Sorry, that's, yeah. for me, that's why I'm excited. Like if this, this comes, um, yes, mm. then it's, it's going to, you know, give hope to a lot of and people. It will yeah. change a lot of lives. It like will. Trail, I think we are ready. I think for me, I feel, um, I have mixed feelings. I'm, I'm excited about it, but I'm very nervous because mm. I, I always have, Apart from being an events planner, and that's how I came into being an events planner, mm. I like to create change. So when I go somewhere and I see something is not going right and people are struggling, I feel really bad. So I'm in my head, I'm like, 
how do I make a difference? And making a difference is at least by creating an event that is going to bring people together and be able to make that difference. So for me, I'm very, very pumped. I'm very excited. I hope that this really goes a long way and creates that change that we are looking into. And at the same time, I'm very nervous because I don't know how people will react, wh how, what will come out of it. Okay. Yeah, but I really hope it's going to be positive. Speaking as someone who's, you know, looking in, outside looking in, mm -hmm. I think it will be a success. And I think it's a Thank beautiful you. thing you guys are doing. Thank you. I love the initiative. And uh, mm -hmm. I love that she's always smiling too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. means, you know, Thank the positivity, you. Yeah. even surrounding the preparation for the mm -hmm. event is mm -hmm. just awesome. Thank you. And uh, mm -hmm. would you like to send a shout out? Let's conclude with that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Camera number four is yours. All right. Um, okay. I think I'd <laughs> shout out to friends family and uh, everyone out there who is willing to join the movement. We are really here with open arms, ready to receive you and support you and uh, give you the heads up. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sound uh, Bashir. I also have to. Um, same, I'll shout out to my friends, uh, my family. I feel like they're the, like the greatest uh, supporters for me. Mm. And I would also like to tell uh, people with disability or albinism or whatever it is, um, like, have faith, you know, be confident, you know, like, that's who you are. There's nothing you can do about it. Mm. So just do what you have to do. And even mm. parents who have such kids, don't hide your kids. Mm. Show them off. Yeah, show your kids off because mm. confidence is built at home. Yeah. I am who I am today because of how my family treated me. Mm. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, yeah? <laughs> nice, nice, Thank nice. Uh, Rare Beauty Movement, that's where you can find them on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also a reminder, a question of the day. Do you think campus relationships work? And of course, you know you guys can't live without answering the question. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So do you think it can? Well, I think for me, it depends with the type of relationship. If you're in it to be serious, definitely it will work. But if you're in it to just uh, play around or see if or feel that you're in a relationship, mm. then it won't work. That's the tough one, yeah? Just yeah. to feel like you're... Like, so that like you're, you're not left out. Group. Exactly. I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. So there. I, I feel like it's a hard one. Mm. <laughs> I feel at that age is where a lot of experimenting takes place. Mm -hmm. And from what I've seen having been in campus mm -hmm. is uh, I noticed like when you're in campus, you know, you're together. You're always... You're always together. Always, always constantly together. Always constantly together. together. You're like, why won't you leave? <laughs> yes, until <laughs> I noticed when I was in campus, like immediately one of you goes for internship. You know, you... you you see things differently. So at some point, I feel like that's where now that it's, it's going to determine mm -hmm. if your relationship is going to stick or not. Mm -hmm. Whether it was real or if not. If it was real or not. Because mm -hmm. you know you're going to see the world totally, you're earning money, you're meeting new people, mm -hmm. you're doing all these things. So, yeah. But it can work. I, mm. I, I don't know about this generation, but uh, <laughs> yeah. This generation, though, it's a whole different breed. It's though. a whole mm -hmm. different, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, sir, thank you guys so much for coming through. And thank you. another Rebu reminder, rare, bu rare beauty, huh? Mo rare beauty rare movement. Rare beauty movement. Yes. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you can find them on mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And also, you can answer a question of the day on Y254 channel and the eSycket. Of course, you can find me at Mika underscore Kenya and Rajiz, the DJ on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We'll be back after this.